What properties does rosehip have? How does rosehip affect the body? What happens if you consume rose hips regularly? For what purpose is rosehip used in medicine? What can harm rosehip? Let's look at the objective facts, tested and studied by qualified specialists, why you need to regularly consume rose hips and when it is better to abandon it. If you want to be healthy, put a like and we'll get started. So, if you are watching your health, then you should pay attention to rose hips. And there are many reasons for that. Some of them you probably didn't know about. Surprisingly, it turns out that even one rose hip has a powerful effect on the body. In this video you will also learn about health recipes using rose hips and a lot of useful information. Every medicinal plant has its pros and cons, so rose hip is not as simple as many people think. Rose hips berries are rich in vitamin C, other vitamins and mineral salts that the body needs. However, when used improperly, rose hips can cause harm. Some people mistakenly believe that rose hips are harmless and can be consumed in any quantity. But excessive use can lead to negative health consequences. The optimal way to use rose hips is to prepare an infusion by pouring boiling water over the berries and insisting in a thermos. Rose hip contains many useful substances and has a beneficial effect on the body. Therapeutic properties manifest not only berries, but also other parts of the plant, branches, bark, roots, seeds, petals, and even leaves. However, it is important to know the differences between species of rose hips, as their effect on the body may differ. It is also important to properly collect and store rose hips berries, because there are several species of this plant. May rose hip and dog rose hip have differences not only in the appearance of the berries, but also in their effect on the human body. May rose hip contains several times more vitamin C and is used as a supplier of vitamins and other biologically active substances necessary for humans. Dog rose hip, on the contrary, because of its very low vitamin C content, is used as a coloretic and is the basis of coloretic preparations. Very often people, without understanding the species, collect and use exactly the berries of dog rose hip to replenish the body with vitamin C, and instead get a coloretic effect and related problems. Look carefully at what kind of rose hip you are using. Collect rose hips in September and early October, while they are still hard, but have already acquired orange coloring. It is very important to collect before the beginning of frost, because when freezing in the berries are destroyed vitamins, and freezing to prepare for winter makes no sense. To preserve berries, they are dried in the sun or in a dryer at a temperature not exceeding 60 degrees. If the drying temperature is higher, vitamins are destroyed, which happens when drying rose hips in the oven or on the stove, as a result of which the product becomes useless. Rose hip, benefits, action, contraindications. Rose hip, like many medicinal plants, has its pros and cons. Rose hips are a powerful source of vitamin C, ascorbic acid, and have a number of useful properties for the human body, such as strengthening immunity, treating colds, improving blood circulation and much more. However, before using rosehip for medicinal purposes, it is important to understand its contraindications. So, rosehip should be avoided in case of vascular thrombosis, increased blood clotting, arterial hypotension, and other conditions. Here are some examples of contraindications to the use of rosehip, blood vessel thrombosis, thrombophlebitis, increased blood clotting, low or unstable blood pressure, tendency to constipation, gastritis and peptic ulcer disease with increased acidity of gastric juice, myocarditis and other heart diseases, exacerbation of pancreatitis, exacerbation of kidney and urinary tract diseases, certain liver and biliary tract diseases, bronchial asthma, skin diseases, prohibition of use in children. Under 2 years of age. Before using rose hips for medicinal purposes, be sure to consult a doctor and make sure there are no contraindications. Infusion and decoction of rose hips, proper preparation and use. The benefits of rose hips depend on the correct preparation of infusion and decoction. Take the necessary amount of berries, on average 1 tablespoon per 0.5 liters of water, and put them in a glass or ceramic dish, preferably in a thermos with a glass bulb. Avoid metal dishes to preserve the vitamin C. Then pour boiling water over the berries, cool to 60 degrees. Do not pour boiling water over them and do not boil them to preserve the beneficial substances. Infuse for 12 hours and take half a cup three times a day before meals. 
After drinking the infusion, it is recommended to rinse your mouth with water so that ascorbic acid does not destroy tooth enamel. Store the infusion in an airtight container and use throughout the day. Leftover fruit can be reused. To prepare a decoction, use the same ratio of berries and water, keep on a water bath for a couple hours. It is somewhat more difficult, but quite possible. However, remember that excessive use of rosehips can lead to undesirable consequences. Therefore, know the measure. Harm of excessive doses of rosehip and its use. Excessive dosages of rosehip preparations can seriously harm health, causing the following negative consequences. Hypervitaminosis, increased content of vitamins in the body. Increased risk of thrombosis, increased risk of blood clots and exacerbation of varicose veins. Decreased blood pressure, can lower blood pressure to dangerous levels. Gallbladder and kidney stone formation, may lead to stone formation instead of prevention. Mechanical jaundice, blockage of the bile ducts by existing stones. Contributing to diabetes, pancreas stops producing insulin. Negative effect on the liver, can cause inflammation of the bladder and allergic reactions. In order not to harm the body, treatment with rosehip should be carried out in courses of three weeks with breaks for two weeks. The effect from the use of rosehips comes quickly, often after a few days. Before using rosehip preparation should be carefully weighed the pros and cons, especially in case of exacerbation of chronic diseases and the presence of contraindications listed above. More information on this topic you will find on our channel. Subscribe, put likes, and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.